everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title of this video, this is going to be my third trimester update video. I'm actually 40 weeks tomorrow, so my due date is tomorrow. But by the time this video goes up, it will be the exact day. I'm hoping, I'm filming on Wednesday, and hoping to post it tomorrow. This is going to be a shorter update because I just don't have that much to touch on. I always take notes throughout like the trimester. This is all the notes so that I don't forget anything. And I also have my 40 week appointment in a little bit. So I just have to kind of get things going. I feel like I'm almost always in a rush nowadays. Just seems to be part of mom life. The first thing I wrote down was that I started drinking red raspberry leaf tea at 31 weeks. I did the same thing with Jude. I think with Jude, I actually didn't start until 34 or 35 weeks, but I started a little bit earlier with baby boy and I just mostly did one cup. There are a few days that I did two cups, but it just, it's honestly hard to just remember to drink it throughout the day versus with Jude. I didn't have another baby, so it was easier to kind of keep up. So I remember by I think 38 weeks, I was up to two or three cups a day. The next thing that I wanted to touch on was we ended up having a baby sprinkle, which I may or may not have mentioned in a vlog or something on my channel, but baby sprinkle basically like a more low key baby shower. So we just hosted it at a restaurant, did very minimal decorations. I'll probably insert a few clips and it ended up being so much fun. We didn't invite nearly as many people as we did for Jude's, which was much bigger and like just much more involved. And I'd highly recommend having a baby shower at a restaurant if you can, because yeah, it just ended up being so easy. Like we didn't have to worry about food. Everyone could order what they wanted. Um, it was nice that we didn't have to clean up after versus Jude's baby shower like it was at our house so we had to clean up after basically I didn't really clean up like everyone helped clean up it's still definitely more of a burden having any sort of party in your home versus somewhere else so I definitely recommend that the next thing that I have is that baby boy at 32 weeks was just under five pounds to tracking definitely less than Jude girl and then at 36 weeks, he was six pounds, 15 ounces, which was like almost two pounds less than Jude. By 36 weeks, I think I was like 36 and a half weeks was, I wanna say eight pounds, 11 ounces or eight pounds, 15. Like she was, yeah, almost two pounds bigger than him. So still a bigger baby, but not nearly as big as Miss Girl. This feels like such a long time ago, but I remember, and I probably mentioned it, that I felt like stressed that we didn't have baby boy's room like even close to done. But we finally got his room painted, which getting it painted was the first step because obviously we didn't want to do anything else before getting it painted. Corey actually painted Jude's room, but again, which I feel like is a theme of these updates, with Jude, it is just so much harder to get things done. So we ended up hiring someone and the paint color came out so nice. I'll share all the details of his room probably two to three weeks after he's born, whenever his full room is done, because there are a few things that we can't get until he is here. At this point, his room is like 90% done. And I wrote, yeah, nearly done at 34 and a half weeks. And then I also went through Jude's old clothes for him, washed them and organized in his drawer. So his room went from being like, basically not done at all, um, to mostly done by the, in like, three or four weeks, which is very nice. I know some people say like, oh, don't worry about having the nursery done before baby comes, but I just like, yeah, I don't wanna worry about that when he's here, even though he won't be sleeping in his room for a while. It's just nice to be able to go in there and know like that's something that is not on my list, especially when I'm gonna have two babies under two years old. Next thing I wrote down was that I have started drinking a little bit of caffeine. I started in this third trimester and I would say I have a nice chai or a nice matcha every like seven to 10 days. And the reason I point this out is that I may have mentioned in an earlier video that I don't do caffeine when I'm pregnant. I do not drink caffeine throughout my pregnancy with Jude Girl, other than like a few sips of Corey's like soda, because for some reason Dr. Pepper tasted so good when I was pregnant with Jude, but like, yeah, I'd only take a few sips. And my plan was not to do caffeine this pregnancy either, but I was craving an iced chai, and then also like, I'm just so much more tired having to also take care of Jude Girl. So I told myself, you know what, like this is a different pregnancy. Maybe not to be as strict. I still believe that not drinking caffeine throughout my pregnancy with Jude helped her be a better sleeper from the get-go. Could have just been luck, could have just been what she was going to be. But that was one of the reasons I didn't want to do caffeine. I know you're allowed up to like 200 milligrams, which that's so much for me. I would never go above like, 70 milligrams even not pregnant i just am more sensitive to caffeine and don't drink it on a regular basis so i don't need like that 
extreme boost. I did realize from about 34 and a half weeks, I started to get a little bit wider rather than like out. With Jude, I didn't get wider at all. With Baby Boy, I've definitely gotten a little bit wider. I had some first trimester nausea come back, which was not fun. And just being like so, so thirsty, which is a general pregnancy thing for me. And like, I love any drinks with ice in it versus when I'm not pregnant. I just like, uh, yeah, you won't really catch ice in most of my drinks. It's so weird. And then, I noticed that my appetite started going up a lot around 37 weeks and then even like the last I'd say like half a week or so my appetite has still gone up which never really happened with Jude. I feel like finally I'm in the phase where it's like that pregnancy hunger where you just like want to eat everything. So it's interesting that like now I'm towards the end which I think it's more common towards the end to like not be as hungry but I definitely still like just can't eat the way that I normally can because I just always feel so full. The last few things, so overall I've gained 17 pounds. I'm assuming that won't change. Like maybe I'll gain like a pound or two. No, I, I just think at most I'd gain like a pound before baby boy's here. That's still more than I gained with Jude. So with Jude, I actually lost 15 pounds in the first trimester and then throughout I gained that weight back and then I think plus one or two pounds. So still around like that 17 pounds, but because most of it was weight I had lost, I ended up the pregnancy basically like not gaining any weight until she was born. And then my weight just jumped up from water retention and stuff, which you can probably go back to Jude's pregnancy video stuff and hear more about that. But with baby boy, I think I only lost like two or three pounds in the first semester and then like that weight came back pretty quickly. And so yeah, I'm higher this pregnancy than I was with Jude, but overall the same weight gain. That probably sounds like a little bit of weight gain for a lot of people, but I just think it's what my body does. Everyone's body is going to be completely different. Um, a lot of times it's genetics, like what your mom gains during pregnancy is often what will happen to you. My mom actually gained 50 pounds with me and 50 pounds with my sister, but I think it's also because she wasn't eating the best, like she's eating two pizzas she do this thing so domino's i guess back in the day had like if they're if you complain about their pizza at all they would bring you a second one and she'd literally sit there and eat both of them she would just like be drinking milkshakes all day because with her when she was pregnant she felt terrible unless she was eating so she was basically eating all the time versus i mostly have the opposite like i most food just like makes me not feel great when I'm pregnant and so I just feel like I don't eat as much. If we didn't naturally have big babies and like the babies were coming out smaller, I'd be more cautious and like kind of like force feed myself. But because the babies are, they're they're getting their food, no doubt. Um, it's not something I worry about. It's not something my OBs and midwives worry about the practice I go to. The last thing I want to talk about is that I have been waking up almost every night, pregnancy insomnia, I feel like that's very, very common. I wrote that I was not dilated at all until a day before my 39 week, oh, until a day before I was 39 weeks, then I was one centimeter dilated, 60% of face, and I got a membrane sweep. From then I started losing parts of my mucus plug. And then I think like a day later, I'm trying to read what I wrote. Yeah, maybe a day later, I lost like a big chunk of my mucus plug. The thing with your mucus plug is that it can also rebuild itself. But since then, I've basically just been losing bits and pieces of it. I had another membrane sweep on this past Monday, and then I'm going to hopefully get another one today. But that is everything. As I said, this is going to be a shorter one because I just didn't have much to update and I am in a rush. I'm really trying to get better at being late, but for some reason it's so hard for me. Oh, I guess before I end it, I'll do bump date. Oh, the final bump date. It's baby boy, so again, I just like mostly grow out and then I don't get much wider. Let's say that. But yeah, definitely a little bit wider than I was with Jude, but still just like an out belly pregnant person. Let me turn up the brightness a little bit. And the Lydia Negra line, I have stretch marks. I don't know how much you can see. Those mostly go away. Maybe they won't this time, I'm not sure. The Lydia Negra line definitely takes longer for it to go away for me. And then my belly button this time is just like non-existent. Like there's just nothing. It just turned into a big black circle. So we'll see what happens after. That is everything. I have to go, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video was helpful. I hope you liked hearing about my pregnancy. This will most likely be my last pregnancy, so it's been fun, and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. Bye.